easy. Easy what peasy. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Pop Culture Corner. We are live for episode two of season two. Justice, uh, aka Big Drip, aka uh, Drip Big, Big Drip. aka all those other things. Welcome, man. <laughs> what up, yo? Oh, nothing much. Nothing much. Just hanging out. I think I liked it. Hey, we, I mean, we were just talking, but uh, so this is legit. This is live uh, across Podbean and across uh, all the other uh, podcast platforms. Eventually, uh, it will kick in, and I think it's really cool. I, I really I, I enjoy this. I enjoy it. Once you get the hang of it, it's much easier. Yeah, and I, I, dude, I, I'm glad you you said it because I, I love this, right? This in, and I, I'm pretty proud of myself for this one because it's a great lead into the, uh, the topic we have in mind today, right? Mm, this, yeah. this format, I, it's not so much for you because you had to set it up, right? You had to sit in front of the computer, you had to set up the whole thing. But on mm. my end, it's essentially just a phone call, right? Yeah, yeah and exactly. Through this kind of, uh, format is where the whole pop culture corner was birthed, right? Mm. Cause for the most part, when we would have the type of conversations we would have, it was uh, over the phone, not always over uh, face to face, you know? Ah, and, uh, I see where you're going with this. Yeah, you, you see where I'm going? I and do, these conversations that we used to have, him and I, is kind of where the idea popped up in his head. Oh, hey, why don't we make a podcast? This could work as a podcast. This could work as a show type right. of conversation for me, with it, me and him would have more often than not over the phone. So this is kind of like, this format we're doing right here is kind of bringing me back to like our origin to story, the, right? To the beginning, back to the beginning. Yeah. The, yeah. And, and as, as we go, like, so, so the, the only difficulty I, I've, I've come across, and, and actually a lot of people join Jack and I, it's just, uh, they have to create, they'll, they'll see the link and they'll see it on Twitter or Facebook. And then they have to do exactly what you did was create an account and then come back and join. So yeah, we, we got yeah. like nine people to sign up and, and, and do it. And um, so it's going to take a while before like everyone like figures it out and, and, and then joins, and, yeah. you know, joins on a, on a, on a regular basis and, and shares and stuff, but that's okay. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth it, it. You know, cause we're, we're still recording the podcast. It's just live for some people, anyone who could tune in. And then what, what happens is once it ends, it allows me to download said recording, tune it up or fix it up, and then repost it. The same, it doesn't change any viewers that you already got. And that I Beautiful. think that's what's really cool. Is it, it, it doesn't, yeah. And then you put it back out. Uh, if you add anything or, or subtract anything, uh, you put it back out and then it like goes out as an actual episode, like so that anyone could come back and watch it or listen to it, I should say. So well, I, I, I enjoy said. it. That being said, big shout out to Podbean. We're digging your format. Yeah. We like what you yeah. guys got going on around here. Yeah. Uh, as far as, so last week we uh, we introduced something. Uh, my co-host uh, Light Drizzle had a wonderful idea of, we started opening the phones, right? So last week he comes to me with an idea uh, that we should pick a topic every week, right? And kind of keep it, keep that topic for the sake of people calling in so we can have a conversation right uh mm -hmm. so this week we kind of we talked about it at the beginning of the week and we were thinking maybe uh doing a conversation about a podcast or a show brand mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it and how would you build it what's required to build it you know we'll talk about things we personally did but also hypotheticals and you know maybe things we wish we did or haven't done yet things of that sort mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to start it off, to start it off, so so if, if you're ever thinking about 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 um, like starting a podcast or starting a, building a brand, uh, the first thing I would uh, advise, and, and this is kind of how we did it, but it, we also didn't really stick the landing um, too hard with it, is I think you need to to get out there on YouTube and um, you know get yourself out there first, and then maybe sync and then get a podcast. I, I think you people need to. To, to feel who you are um mm. and kind of like what justice told me in the beginning was we kind of did it backwards where whereas we we started a podcast first uploaded it to youtube and, and yeah people watched and people listened and pe that's kind of how we got our start but we should have maybe done the youtube stuff first did it how we're doing it now and then made a podcast after the fact right so, right and and that you know that's and that's just like uh that's an observation, right? Like that's mm -hmm. not something I know to be fact. That's just something I've noticed through our podcast is that they build a fan base and then 
they come into the podcast. That being said, that again, that's just something I've observed. Right. That being said, our main focus is the podcast, right? Everything we do is for the sake of the podcast and the brand itself and the name, right? So if, you know, the podcast is centered, that, then you should start with it, right? Because that's the most important part of it. That was the idea in the first place. That was a podcast, right? Yeah. Everything yeah. else we do is for the sake of that podcast in the name of the brand, right? So, and, right. you know, it might be backwards the way I've seen it, but you know what? I like the way we're doing it. We're coming at it in a different approach. I always like to be different. I don't want to do things every way everybody else is doing them, right? Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. to do things the hard way. That's what we're yeah. doing, baby. Yeah. And 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 when we so so if you're building if this is something that you want to do or, or something that you're interested in doing, um, I mean typically typically what we do, uh, so you need to find what you like, right? So what 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 right. do you want to talk about? What do you want to? And for us, that's pop culture, right? So hence right. the name, pop culture corner. That's what we like to talk about. We like to talk about movies, TV, anime, and that's what usually what we do. Today's a little different. Obviously, we're talking about creating the brand to do that uh, right. because we're exploring new territory in in the sense that. What we used to do is uh, the podcast that we did was more of like a news report, but we don't like that. Like we, we have that already. We, we do that on YouTube on like with my daily show and stuff. So we're not going to do it again on Saturday, like recap the week. It seems right. idiotic. So right, right. Uh, what we what we've decided now is uh, and, and we didn't do that today because um, we didn't do it. How I'm about to tell you to, to today and how you doing light, right? I love that name. Cause I used to love light brights. Um, mm. Cause I'm a, I'm a monster, <laughs> but um, so we didn't, we didn't, we didn't do that today, but we we're basically, we're hosting this like a morning radio show. Uh, so we, we allow call-ins and, you right, know, for, right, yeah. like I said, if, yeah. and if any of anyone that shows up today, if you want to uh, call in and, and like, if there's a topic that you'd like to speak on, feel free to do so. Uh, and we can get you on the show for, for a while and, um, and, and do that, do it that way. What I like about Podbean is it allows you to call in as well. So we know more of a Google voice. If we're doing a live podcast, you can just call in right here. So right. same way. Right. Justin, and I love uh, it. Yeah. So, so this is once we get more people over here and, and doing this, it, it works. So what, what we're doing is hosting it like a, a live morning radio, ho like a radio show and, and right. talk, right. having a conversation, not a news report. That's so boring. Right. right. And, and you know, and, and now the guys, anybody listening, don't get it twisted. You want to do a news report type of thing. Of course, by all means, here's the difference though. When you do something like this, anytime you put your creativity into something, your passion, into something, your heart into something, you need to truly love the thing you're doing, right? So if, you, if you're if you a journalist at heart and you love reporting the news, then by all means, do yeah. it. It just yeah, did, we tried it, it didn't work for us, right? right. So we kept right. it pushing and we, we, we moved on to a different area where we're more comfortable and, uh, we can function better. So that yeah. that's always something to take into consideration is your comfort zone. Not, I shouldn't say comfort zone because you want to break that, right? You want to get out of that. But somewhere where you can operate at your full potential, right? right. That's what I mean by comfortable, where you can do what you want to do with love, passion, and and uh, your full effort. For, for instance, I mean... Uh, for justice, uh, <laughs> for dark side, for justice, uh, <laughs> finding your niche. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I couldn't. And and our niche is, I mean, the justice had said it earlier. I mean, the the pot, this brand and this this show literally started by justice and I, or Big Drip and I, having conversations on the phone about. Uh, movies, TV, anime. Well, not really anime. I don't really talk about anime because I don't know too much about it. But yeah, we're having these conversations on the phone. And one day, like I got, I lost my job uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, and I was just like, and I had, I had this idea uh, about a year ago, about a year previous to to the time we started. And I was like, oh, watching all these YouTubers, and I'm like, I think I could do this better. Like, in, mm. <laughs> you know, I, I was like, and then, then you know, no offense to them, but I was like, I think I could do this better. I mean, That's I, right. I, I want right. to do it better. I don't want to be That's anyone right. else. I want to be better. Right. So uh, I was like, I think I could do this better, but I need someone. I, I can't do it alone. Of course I can't do it alone. And like, you know, I needed somebody. And then, I mean, I had known justice at that point for a year or two now. And, um, you Roughly. know, I was like, I was, yeah, at the point that I asked you, I, I think we'd known each other for 
like a, a year, two years or something like that. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, you know what? Who that. better to do it with than, than this guy? Uh, he brings charisma, creativity, and um, what did you say at the beginning? Sex appeal. <laughs> did I say that? Probably. That's yeah. You like, I, like I bring, I, I bring, say. I bring the funniness. <laughs> and I bring the sex appeal. That, that's terrible. Why would if, you ever let me say that? That's terrible. <laughs> if, that, <laughs> if that, if that, if that wasn't uh, arrogant enough, I mean, why wouldn't you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> It's terrible. <laughs> oh, I got all these like little uh different like um different things. Oh dude, oh that's so funny. Do you remember that? I said yeah. that. Uh, yeah, that was one of our started. things back in the day. Yeah. We were like, we wish you had a little uh we wish, this has got everything, honestly. This that's has got awesome. everything. I love that. Um, that's through Podbean? Yeah, everything through Podbean. That's beautiful. Yeah. You yeah. know what? I got a great transition right back onto the topic. So this this right here, everything he just put on display for you, right? And uh, we keep talking about, oh, how much we like the layout of Podbean. You need to find something that you like, how you like it, how you want to hear it, how you want it to sound, right? I know, like, when you think a podcast or, like, a radio show or whatever, you don't think that any kind of um, aesthetics really go to it, right? Because it's just audio, but that's not true because you have things like sound bars, right? And different microphones and headphones and, you know, different um, softwares that run audio a different way. So it kind of brings you back to the your comfort zone, right? Your, what you're comfortable in, how you like it, how you want it to sound. There's, there should be a picture in your head of how you want this to sound, how you want it to look, how you want it to feel, right? That's, a, that's something I, I try to emphasize on with my uh my end of mm -hmm. our show mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. the feel that I bring to it. Right. I, I, I don't want anybody to ever come in and feel anything, but relaxation, uh, maybe preferably you come out learning something new and you laugh a couple mm -hmm. of times, right. Yeah. That and a feel is a big part of it. Yeah. And, 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 and I don't think anyone, uh, welcome back, Boney. Uh, I don't think Bony. anyone, I, I, there are serious podcasts out there, right? There are serious right, podcasts right, that you don't laugh at, right. that you don't like uh, a lot of true true crime po pod. Oh, wow, that's a really tongue twister. True crime true. podcast. Say it. True. Say it. True crime podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got that. I knew that I wasn't was, crazy. Was <laughs> true crime podcast. <laughs> there are a lot of those that 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 are more serious in tone and they do a certain thing that that's their niche. Right. I think right. true crime ha has, has kind of been saturated, but so has in pop culture. So true. Um, yeah. uh, what we're looking for is maybe, uh, maybe like Joe Rogan meets um, like a radio show meets, um, meets something like, uh, else. Like, I don't, yeah. like, uh, like IGN maybe. Right. Uh, something along those lines. Some, the type so we're like a we cover we cover like it's pop culture corner right so we cover pop culture for the most part like there's a lot to pop culture so we don't get to every last corner uh more we're trying to to incorporate more but more often than not we stay in the realm of nerd uh we're trying to like tiptoe our way out of that but there's so much to it there's so much abundance that it, it's hard to to cover everything right pop yeah, culture is a, yeah. a big word a vast, you know what i mean vast yeah vast <laughs> vast um, area and, and, but that's uh, that's the thing you know we we're gonna be doing this for the foreseeable future right so yeah. we got all the time in the world to to cover all of these things yeah and uh i mean so so we were lucky enough to to get uh some guests right out of the like right right we Probably two basically months right in, off the rip. Yeah, I was gonna say so. Right September <laughs> is when we started, and November is when we did this thing, and we called it uh, uh what what did we call the, it? The, the Snyder uh, cut, no Snyder Snyder cut expose. It was either the Snyder expose or the Snyder cut expose. I forget yeah. which, but okay, it, yeah, it was, so it was an expose. dedicated to to the Snyderverse, right? And yeah. we had all kinds of guests and all kinds. It was actually really fun. It was fun, and time. we met, and we met a lot of people, and, and, yeah. and we we had Dark Side on the show, and dude, it was um, awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. I had him on today too. I mean, he popped in uh, today to fangirl on Allison Crow. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, we've come a long way. The show's come a long way since the, the right. days, and um, 
I mean, we were lucky enough and we did get those guests. Uh, we, we had a whole month full of guests, whether it was other YouTubers in the, in the industry or whether it was uh, people writing like Sean O'Connell. Uh, right. You know, he wrote the Snyder Cut uh, book and then we had Dark Side. So, so we had everyone from people who talked about it to people who wrote about it to people who were in it. And, uh, you know, it all came together so cleanly. And then we ended up meeting this, this fan. Oh, so we had a fan as well. So we had people who watched it, uh, talked about it, wrote about it, yep. were in yep. it, right? Yep. And we met this kid, Jack. And Jack spoke really well. Jack spoke very artic- – he articulated very well. And he right. knew what he was talking about. So, so we ended up asking him if he, if he would like to produce the show and help us host it every once in a while or join us every once in a while. So we, we now have taken on a third member. Uh, right now we're looking for – like I just said, uh, we're looking for someone who's a female and – <laughs> to join the show and you know so we're not just all three guys who are just like you know right. let me talk about pop culture <laughs> you know, you know like, it, it's it's a it's a form of um and it you know uh, once again back to the topic um you want to uh you want to try and get uh uh views from all different uh different perspectives now yeah. it is a little uh what's the word i'm looking for? base level right to base it off a thing like race or gender or whatever mm-hmm. but when you don't know people like for example jack we've never met jack uh in person we've had yeah in person we've only had a handful of conversations i my, i personally only had one conversation with him uh tyler had a couple i i believe like four something like that four maybe five it wasn't that many before we asked him to join to be a producer, right? So you don't, my point being, you don't get to know people very well unless you've already known them, right? Like everything we're doing is over the internet, basically, right? So we don't really get to know these people in person. We don't get to spend that much time with them. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we're looking for a female specifically to join us, I like, like I said, I know it's a little base level to base it off a gender, but we can't like, we can't like put a list of qualifications personality wise. You see what I'm saying? Like it, yeah, we're do. looking for a woman to get a new perspective and then we'll have a conversation with her about how she feels about certain pop culture things, how knowledgeable she is, etc. But we're trying to get different perspectives from uh, all different places. Right. Yeah. Tyler's yeah. white. I'm black. Jack is, uh, I Pakistani. believe you say Pakistani. Thank you. Uh, and then we'll have a woman. So we're getting perspectives from all different uh, races and genders and blah, blah, blah. And then we are, not only are we different in that sense, but we're also different uh, in tastes and, uh, you know, general thought processes. So we're getting a wide yeah, we don't want We don't want to, we don't want a carbon copy, right? We don't want a carbon right. copy of any one of us where I'm certainly not a car- carbon copy of justice. Justice is not a carbon copy of Jack and vice versa. Uh, right. We don't want right. someone who's like us. We want someone who's different right. than us, who has different interests, but also exactly you know, like, like the pie chart overlaps in every 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 so often with with similarities and in interests. So and and we want to allow her to flourish in her and to right. to use this platform to uh, reach a certain audience, reach uh, other females and uh, right. other right. you know. Right. I think it's a. And, uh, Representation, yeah, absolutely. Because representation is an important thing, right? It is, and uh, we we want to have that here because we have every intention of being large, right? Like, uh, you know, I I understand one hundred percent if uh, podcasting and video making is just something you do as hobby. Uh, you find it relaxing, you find it fun. I get that because I enjoy it. I I could see myself doing this just for fun, but I would like to. Preferably speaking, I would like to make something out of this financially so I can dedicate 100% of my time to it, right? Be that being like, said... Be the greatest, like, the day I can... I mean, as of right now, I'm not working, but, like, because I'm furloughed, but uh, the day I could literally just be like, you know what? I We make enough money uh, where, where I'm taking this full-time and running with it, right? Right, right. As soon as I can pay my bills, as uh, soon as we can pay our bills, excuse me, yeah. then we quit our jobs and we, we start doing this 100% of our time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and that, that means we're going to get big at some point, right? We're going to get very large and we're going to have, uh, there's going to be people that fall under the pop culture corner umbrella, preferably, right? Especially if we're trying to turn it into a brand, 
So in that in that sense and in that manner and in that scenario, we need representation, right? And that's kind of what we're building towards right now, right? Uh, right. We now that being said, we didn't. Uh, the only the only it's it's just I know it sounds some type of way saying that we're just specifically looking for a girl, you know. And I'm right. just trying to. Uh, 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 yeah, exactly. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just trying mm-hmm. to elaborate so everybody's on the same page with this and as to why we're doing it, just in case you you are trying to build your own. Yeah, you know what's cool about this is I can pick my nose and nobody knows. <laughs> Literally, uh, no one sees me, or no one. I'm just kidding. No, it's, I, I love it. It's great. Yeah, it's great. I, I, I didn't even get good. dressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! But yeah, so so, I mean, uh, building a brand doesn't uh, build building a podcast and a brand and a, a YouTube show. I really do recommend the YouTube aspect of it to stay. Yes. Uh, to stay. There's gonna be a As day, and, and there's gonna be a day, right? And uh, I've heard rumors of it. Um, that Spotify incorporate. So Spotify, basically what they've done for, for certain shows like Joe Rogan uh, and the other big ones, there's like five or six others. They've in- let them do video as well. Mm. When Spotify rolls out the ability for podcasts to, to do videos and, you know, like videos of the, of the podcast, the same way Joe, Joe does it. I have a feeling between that and Twitch, YouTube's going to be hurting. Like mm. because because the, the the algorithms and stuff really do keep the the new and and what I like about Apple Podcast is what Apple does is the newest shows get the most uh, benefit out of the algorithm and the reason they okay. do that okay. is because obviously Joe Rogan doesn't need the algorithm to his to work in his benefit because he already has the largest audience out there right, right so joe right. doesn't need to be joe doesn't need to be like people don't need to be reminded that joe rogan has a show they know right right right, right. but right. that what i the, what they do is uh, the new guy the new joe rogan the the next joe rogan is what apple's looking for right right so right. they promote new podcasts over are older ones because until they get their their Joe Rogan because Spotify right. got Joe Rogan. Well, well okay, <laughs> I'm I'm using him as more of a generic sense, but yeah, yeah, of course. Basically, what I'm saying is they're always trying to generate and create another Joe Rogan so that people spend more of their time on the platform. So if you have one Joe Rogan, that's well and great, but you have four Joe Rogans now. That's people true. are here four is four times as much, and and they're spending four times as much time on the platform. So Apple does a great thing with their algorithm, and YouTube's algorithm is outdated. Uh, and, and yeah, it's always changing, but it's outdated in the sense that uh, the the people with the most followers and the most subscribers are the ones that get shared. And, and I mean, it should be o- opposite. Our YouTube, I will drop it now. Um, <laughs> I I just did a show today. Okay, so it's the Us United. So basically, I was asked. Um, do us united which was a uh, a a stream to raise money for afsp and uh thank zach snyder for for obviously zach snyder just league and all the work he's put in and uh i had allison crow on and um i had uh well we had on uh, we had on allison crow we had on uh dark side from the movie and we had on brandon spink who plays young bruce wayne in uh, batman v superman it was such a words- fun time in other words we got a lot going on around here people you have a lot going on and and, and we're getting <laughs> shameless no- plug. we're getting noticed more and more by other people um we're not we've only been around for six months yeah and we're already yeah. at a level where i mean a lot and this is not to be like uh this is not to be uh braggy or, or anything like that like no, 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 we've, no, no we've come a long way if you watch the first episode, I mean, we thought it at that time. We were like, wow, this is fucking Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. This <laughs> was really fire. Good. That's a true story. That's a true story. We came out of that really talking some big game. And, uh, yeah. Go, yeah, go ahead. Go the take next... a listen. <laughs> go take a listen. Go on Spotify. Go take a listen. Tell us if we're big game and all that. Because we're not. <laughs> yeah, I love the sound bar. I love yeah. it. I love That's it. great. That's great. Some of them last too long like this one. Like it doesn't. It should have already ended by now, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it should. It should have been a That's little, right. a little shorter. But uh, yeah, That's we thought right, we thought we were. We, the, we thought we were hot, hot mm. coming out of really, that hundred really, views. We, really. we were like, oh. <laughs> all right. I guess that I get back to the drawing board. No, but uh, 
when one of those sound effects lasts too long, play the whistle sound effect. Oh, there's a whistle. So, uh, Go ahead, finish my sentence. Uh, I, I was... Yeah, I no, I, I, I keep it real with you. I uh, forgot where you left off. I, uh, but I had a, another tie in. Oh, I got, it, I got it. I got it. No, okay, I got it. I got go. it. So, go. so, good. <laughs> so, so basically, what I'm saying is if you go back and watch the first episode um, in September, towards and, and then you go watch the us united stream event from today uh you'll see an absolute different show uh absolutely. it's the same people in, in the same kind of basic format but it's it's what we've done is we've taken criticism taken like you have to if you're in this game you need to know how to take criticism because if you don't absolutely. if you don't take criticism well that's going to kill you because people are going to say, what did that one girl say to us in the beginning? Uh, oh, you got way too much shit going. Like you, you got way too many pops and stuff like built up on that desk. Next show, we had it all gone. Mm, yeah. Uh, and yeah. So on and yeah, so right, forth. We right, used a right. green screen um, at the beginning. We no longer do um, because it's more work and it look, looks less um, it's aesthetically pleasing. Work. It's yes, unnecessary. And- it really is. So, so we what we did was we built a we took one of the walls in the studio and we uh, and we we changed it into like a um, like a uh, what do they call a natural background you know like with like LED strips on the top uh, you know just as you know it's the there's, yeah. LED, there's LED lights that change colors on the floor that shine upwards and then on the top yeah. of it on the you'll see uh, through some of the streams but on the top of the wall that shine down and we can change the colors and we have, uh, you know, professional lighting in the room. And right. now, now we're getting to the place where we have monitors onto the, you know, it's, get, right. it's, I mean, it's getting crazy, but, uh, so that, that's a, so that's a next step, right? That's your next step. Anybody listening that want, is, it's, uh, uh, interested in doing such a thing. That's your next step, your studio, right? Yes. A lot right. of, a lot of what he just named, uh, he had to begin with, right? We studio we use in uh, his property, right? And uh, the, like for example, the LED lights and stuff like that. He had that already. He had the space. So uh, you guys got to find a, a a a nice space, right? First of all, it's it's gonna be it's gonna need to be a certain size, right? Like uh, we take up a lot more space than I would suspect. We would based off yeah. of what we're doing, but yeah. we take up quite a bit of space, right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, imagine need... if we didn't have a room dedicated to it. We yeah, just take exactly. It in, like, the room or something. <laughs> exactly. Like, and, and pe- some people do that, though. You know, they have to because they don't have. I mean, I'm lucky right. enough where I had a home office, and, and I have a big apartment, and I mean, a, a condo. I, I have a, I have a lot of room, uh, and yeah. we were able to take L- my home yeah. office and, and kind of <laughs> luckily, converted. fingers yeah. crossed, baby. Yeah. That's awesome. And so, in, in other words, we had a big jump ahead. Uh, that that's a big jump ahead. It really is. Uh, so coming, you know, brand new coming into this. Now, I'm I'm as we go along and we keep suggesting things, and I keep you know giving you different points and stuff. I'm looking at this as if you're me, right? nothing you got you at the bottom right and you want to make this happen it's it's probably like you you have nothing you're working with basically nothing right now and you want to make this happen though you still got the passion you're still hungry for it right so what what you would want to do now i get it right living space isn't always the best option but you can always look at a room right and you can you take a look at it and you 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 go down the list of things you need right and uh, we'll get to that eventually like the you know the actual what you need equipment and software wise we'll get to that eventually but as far as just the space goes right you want to have it so you, you you can always say you're just using your your like Drizzle just said your living room right look at the room all right maybe I got to reorganize some things but rooms are always bigger than they appear to be right you can kind of reorganize some stuff. Now, this is depending whether or not you want to be on camera, because if you're just doing it the way we're doing it right now, you ain't got to change nothing. You can just record your audio and you're good. But if you want a nice visual look, maybe you switch some stuff around, right? You get you some knickknacks, some nice looking stuff. For example, in mine, I just have like comic book covers hanging up as like uh, just kind of like decorations, right? And little plushes and stuff like that, just to give the people something to look at, something aesthetically pleasing. So when they they watch you, they're, 
they go, oh, this is a nice kind of feel, you know? Like I, uh, I like, like I said, I like to put a very, uh, I put an emphasis on the feel, right? The vibe. And my kind of vibe is low, chill, relaxed. So I have things like lava, lava lamps and, you know, I try to keep the lights dim and, you know, posters, stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. And, uh, and, and you make up and, a kind of feel that you want, you know, a nice yeah. aesthetically pleasing look. I mean, if you're not, so the way I see it, right, is, is, I mean, for instance, Justice and I, uh, we did a show the other day. I mean, it was technically Justice's show. Um, and, and we we tried it out, uh, you know, do a new show. And uh, he's been. Didn't work the way we wanted it to, but we tried. Uh, <laughs> we tried. Know, <laughs> we did try. It's going to work. I mean, eventually. Eventually. It'll work. It's just, um, it's not going to work at this time. And, and we had the conversation. It was like, we wouldn't have watched that. Like, no, I would not have, absolutely not. even if I seeked the channel out and I was like, oh, I love, uh, these guys are really interesting. And then that was the, the show that I picked. I probably would have turned away right there. So do we right. want <laughs> content or do we not just want to, like, do we want to James Cameron it? Right. So James, to James, right. James Cameron it <laughs> right. is to put it off until the technology gets there. Right to not to not just go out and do it because you want to do it now. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's good. That was yeah. good. That or was really do we want to wait until we're ready to do it? And I, I, we have decided that we're going to wait till we're ready to do it. Um, the technology thing. That was good. That was okay. really good. Was little, was yeah, I'm deal. impressed. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> Honestly, good. I swear to God, I came up with that on the spot. <laughs> that was good. Well I done. I've also in hey. the thing is I've also gotten better about speaking. Like, oh yeah, beat me to it. You suck. I was just about to say that. You suck. Yeah, you I've suck. Got, I was just about to take that point. <laughs> like if I had to go public speak right now, I'd be fine. I don't know I, why. I, 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 I'd be fine. I, I, I still have a problem with um I, I've I've become comfortable with every sense of this, with the exception of looking people in the face. And that's part of public <laughs> speaking. Uh that's the only thing. Well, I, I, when I say people. I mean, like people, not like you or Jack or even a guest we have. I mean, like people, just random people in a crowd, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that that is where the the struggle will come in because I tend to uh, I pause a lot, right? I have to like I, a lot goes on, right? So I have to like get things together, get my head together, and uh, make sure the sentence makes sense. So right. on stage with a bunch of people looking at me, that's not going to be a good look, right? Uh, yeah, but I, I I mean, I think you've come a long way. Uh, oh, I appreciate it. Even that. though, even though, when the first time we ever did this, and it was just me and you, so I mean, we were pre-recording it, so I mean, it was theoretically just us. But yeah, uh, that that first episode, I thought you did a good job of of uh, like for for anyone who wants to go back and watch. I mean, it's literally the first episode in YouTube. Like the first uploaded video is is our first episode, and. Uh, we didn't have any awkward pauses. We didn't. Uh, we we did a good job. Yeah, we, did, sense, do we did do a good job. Good job. And, and uh, I mean, it just looks kind of shitty. Uh, in, in the sense that you'll see if you ever go back and watch it, like right. the green screen is not centered correctly. There's blue yeah. wall <laughs> hanging into the frame. Uh, the camera wasn't set to the correct functions. Like, you know, we just kind of got in there. And but that's another thing that I do recommend is to just get in there and go, uh, and learn. Right. Right, and learn because right. eventually, don't overthink this. Yeah, eventually you're gonna be like, oh, that doesn't work. Oh, okay, this right. works. I really right. like that, but I would wish right. it was a little bit more like that. And, right. uh, That's great advice. That's great advice because seeing is believing. Yeah, and and I mean, it took us how long to find Podbean, right? Hey, do we just, we just yeah, found I mean, it? So yeah, we just found it. But I I do recall you bringing it up to me at some point. But we I ended did, up going with a different option. I did. And the 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 scary part was is taking all the episodes and all the data and all the analytics that you have and wiping it clean. Right. Mm. That's the scary part. And that's, yeah. we, had come, <laughs> we were six months in and I was like, okay, I had to make a choice. And, and these are the choices you'll have to make is you, you, I, we used to anchor because it was the, the, the first one I heard about the first one I knew about from another podcast that I listened to and it was free and you know, yada, yada, yada. And uh, so we started with with with, uh, with with that, and you know we had built up a great audience on on. Uh, I mean, we were getting thousands of watches per episode with with um, with anchor uh, with anchor. And now, I mean, I before we got any bigger, 
because if we got any bigger, I was never going to switch. Right. Right. Um, right. So I had to make the choice like, all right, I need to do this now because if I don't do it now, I'm never going to, because I'm never going to be able to, and I will right. not, I will not stop. Um, like I, I, you know what I mean? It's, I'm not going to just, I'm going to get scared and I'm not going to want to wipe away the analytics or the reviews right. on Apple or, or all Absolutely. that stuff that you've built. It's going to be too much. Too much. Gonna, yeah, exactly. We built up too much and it's going to be, dude, I don't want to get rid of this. Absolutely. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. So, I mean, I just did it. I, I, I one night I was like, I, I, I'm not going to talk myself out of it. I'm just going to go and do it. Just do and it. it turns just out, do it. <laughs> and it turns out that all the stuff that I was worried about is not really a thing. Right. Cause Good. yeah, all the analytics are gone and all like that stuff. But if you are subscribed to the show on YouTube, I mean, um, on Spotify or Apple, or you left a review on Apple, it actually carried over. The only thing that's nice. gone is the plays. And then yeah, okay. that sucks. That sucks. Yeah. But yeah, but I mean, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. But, yeah, um, so, so, you know, uh, you know, guys listening, you know, um, so or females you know, or in between. Yeah. Or anybody when I, yeah, when I say guys, I mean people, right. Um, anybody listening, let me rephrase myself. Anybody listening. I, I like to think that I'm a good, um, I guess anchor is a good word or, um, I'm a good, um, transition from now he was him and Jack actually are both pretty knowledgeable in all of this to begin with. I, on the other hand, hand are not at all starting off. Anyways, when we started, I had no clue whatsoever. So a lot of stuff he shows me, he teaches me, uh, he'll, he'll walk me through it. Right. So if you're coming into it like that, I would, I, I would suggest finding yourself a Tyler or, or, I mean, you could like sit down and learn it yourself, but I mean, you know, I, I can only speak for myself for this specifically, but I, I, I can't learn that way. Right. I can't learn like that. That's just not my style. That's not how I learned. I can't just go Google something and figure it out. That's not how it works for me. Right. Yeah. So it, basically what I'm saying is this, there's a lot to more to this than I like initially realized, like yeah. it, when we first started and I thought to, to, to myself how much this would require, I it's it's so much more than what I thought. You need a yeah. lot. There's a lot of equipment. There's a lot of knowledge. There's a lot of different things. Like, for example, things like Anchor and Podbean, I had no clue whatsoever they were even a thing. I had right. no clue. I thought we were individually uploading everything to every platform we use. And if, if we missed one, we missed one. That was on us. Right. Right. And, and that's, and, and, and for the most part, the, these platforms are becoming more integrated and more, um, they're becoming more, more, they work together more. And, and that's the good thing. Uh, I'm, right. I'm assuming that, you know, when, when YouTube first came out and, you know, when all these other things started first coming out, it probably was like you had to upload it all together, you know, at once on this one, on once on this one. And it, you know, but, but with technology, things have got a little bit more they work together like now you can you know there's a share button and, and every platform and it and it allows you even if they're not partners i mean facebook and twitter are literally rivals however right. in everything it says share and then you see facebook twitter and, or whatever true and, true and, very um, true and those true. The, it, those are making it more they're making it easier and i mean with the advent of with the advent of of these podcast platforms that are getting bigger and better and they're allowing to do you to do more things and uh you know it's just gonna get more fun and and for me i, I enjoy and when he says get a tyler i i really do uh i enjoy the technical aspect of it and uh i like hosting it as well and, right. and i i don't know like in the future where that's gonna take me uh because i, I don't I, I would love to produce a show but i yeah. always will want to host a show Right, or two right, or four. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, but that's and that's you know, and that 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 brings it back to the original point we had made at the very beginning is things you love, right? And you might discover that as you go, because you know, I until he brought it up, uh I've never really had a desire to be on camera. I've never really want I that's not true. I did at one point. But yeah, as a late, as, yes, exactly. <laughs> as an adult, uh Oh, well, no, no, where <laughs> I know where you're at. We're on a different page. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I know where you're at. That's, <laughs> that's, still, 
That's still a very true thing. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, I, didn't even, I didn't even consider that. Damn. Okay. So I'm lying. I'm lying. You've I'm always lying. had a desire. I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Some, so, somewhere. <laughs> Where what I mean is like I've never <laughs> I, I I'm not interested in any kind of fame. I'm not interested in notoriety, none of that. I what I want to do is do the things I love for money, basically. Right. Mm -hmm. That and I mean that's that's the dream for anybody, right? And uh that that's that's the whole that I guess that's like the core idea behind this topic of building a brand, building a podcast, building whatever you're trying to build is the love for it. Right. Yeah. You yeah. then it has to be there or it simply will not work. If you're yeah. only kind of kind of into something, it's not going to work. You have to love that thing. And again, you may discover it as you go, but the if love, you, it needs to be there. Yeah. And he's you're. I mean, you're spot on. If you if you don't love it, if you I mean, like we all we all like have those 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 thoughts, those um, ambitions that like, oh, I'd love to be. I would love to get paid for the thing I love to do. And and right. I honestly didn't know. I always wanted to be in film. I always wanted to write for film. I always wanted to produce film and I always wanted to direct it. However, I didn't know that that was never going to happen. Right. But I do, I found, and, and this is a quick little story to, to kind of like get you to know why this is that I, this is why I even asked him in the first place. That's why I asked was, I didn't know. I for for a long time I asked myself, Tyler, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? What do you want to do? And I could never answer that. I didn't know, and I knew that I was never going to get into film. It was already too late, right? It was already way too late. And I mean, I guess I can't say that, but it was seeming like seemingly like it was getting too late, and 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 it was becoming more of a pipe dream. Um, mm. And I was like, well, what what else can I do? And, and I can never answer myself that same question, Tyler. What is it that you like enough? where you would like to do that for the rest of your life. Right. And, uh, I got like nine answers. Yeah. I have, you know what I mean? There's, there's so many things <laughs> I, I would like to do, but could I do right. that? I don't think so. Uh, right, what do I love right. to do? What, what do I do on a regular basis? Oh, I talk about film or I watch movies or I watch TV or talk about TV or I, when I go to work, I end up, what do you talk to your coworker about? I talking about film or, or Hey, did you see that movie? Oh, Hey, did you see that? Uh, you know, did you see that? Did you see that? Or, Hey, let's talk about this. And we get into these right. long conversations and it was right. like the, the common denominator here was was pop culture. So, mm -hmm. you know, once and I didn't up until the day that we recorded that first episode, I didn't know. And once we hit once we, once we hit record on the camera and record on the, the audio software and all of a sudden this thing started happening, I realized that day and I fell in love. I did. I fell right. in love. With that right. Day. And that's a and, beautiful thing. It really is. And, yeah. You know, uh, and through all that, I noticed uh, a, a difference between the two of us, right? Uh, you said the common denominator was always pop culture, right? Now, that's also true for me. But at the same time, I have like nine different common denominators that are all equally true, pop culture being one of them. So in my particular case, I'm so indecisive that I needed uh, uh, Tyler. I needed him he was the one who came in and like solidified, right? Let's do this. And now I've had a million, I don't know why, but I'm that guy that everybody with a pipe dream comes to, right? Uh, I don't know why 90% are, are uh, disingenuous. They don't follow through whatsoever. I never, anytime somebody like admit, <laughs> tells me their dreams and hopes, I never like put them down and tell them like, no, you can't do it. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm on board, absolutely. And then 90% of them never follow through with it. Uh, right, and that's, right. I think I told you that. I don't recall if I told you or not, but that was the idea I had with you. But then you called me a second time and you called me a third time about it. I was like, well, this kid's, and then we actually started building here. You know, oh. I, I'm, I'm pretty indecisive, right? So a time yeah, I believe I called you and I was me. like, hey, bro, I got those microphones, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said, yeah, yeah. You said you ordered. I, mean, I got those exactly. microphones that were to use. <laughs> exactly. That it, yeah, it went. It went down something like that. You like, I ordered. Yeah, I think it was microphones. You're like, yo, I got microphones on their way. And I'm like, oh, yeah. this kid's being serious. Wow, that's the yeah. first. All right, yeah. let's do this. I'm down. And we got and into it. But that's that's me though. You know, not everybody needs like um like I said, I'm not uh, I'm I'm pretty uh indecisive. You know, not everybody's like me. That's more of a personal problem.
Yeah. And, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe that, maybe that day, right? Maybe that day that I called you a third time, fourth time, fifth time. And I was like, Hey, I got these microphones. Here, hey, you and, got, uh, you know, I'm ready. I'm, you I'm ready to go Saturday. And you were like, Oh, all right, cool. Uh, maybe that day. Well, for, you, you couldn't hear me for a minute. Yeah, I lost you for that whole thing. Oh, okay, well, what I was saying was maybe that that day, maybe that day I called you the fourth or fifth, the sixth time and said, hey, I got these microphones. Who knows that, like, you know, 10 years down the road, like, that's going to be the moment where everything changed. Uh, and right, now, right. Now we're, right. Now we're doing it full time. Now we're, you know, we built a brand and there's a network of shows under the umbrella. And so, you know, all it took was these two microphones. And I think right. that can be <laughs> right. poetic and beautiful. Absolutely. That's a, yeah, absolutely. Very poetic. <laughs> that's a, uh, and that, that's a, that's the, the second biggest, uh, biggest factor, passion, dedication. Those are the mm. two, right? You put those two together, you have something beautiful. Yeah. But you have to have them. You, I, you know, I, I just got done saying how indecisive I am, but that's because I never, uh, for all of those things I was indecisive about, I never put my actual, I never said, okay, this is the thing I'm going to do and put my foot forward. This is the exception, right? This, this podcast, this show, this brand, that's the exception. This is the first time I, I said, and put my, I will put my all into this and actually put my foot into it. And I have every intention of following that through and sticking to it and pushing until we can't push anymore, which will be never. Right. Did you? So I just noticed something about this. So they can send super chats in there and here. What's like a super chat? Money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. This is similar. I was saying that when we were in the test one. Uh, this is very similar to Twitch. At the I only mean, difference, I didn't is even know that. Essentially, a phone call. That's how this is. This is a, a solid way of how Twitch for you to get an idea of how Twitch works. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this is cool. I didn't know they could send us money. Hey, hey. I'm going to start putting, hey, hey. pushing this pa- platform a little bit harder. But uh... <laughs> Definitely use this. I like it. I, 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 I genuinely, I like this layout. Yeah. So so uh, I just want to throw a quick uh, plug here. As So on Wednesday. Yes, uh, do so, some talking real quick. Yeah. So it, in this long journey that we've had, uh, we've now partner with, we now partner with the one of the five are you peeing? Is he really doing that right now? Is there like a way I can like mute him for a sec? There we go. I don't Okay. I'm going to have to let him know that. By the way, I could hear you peeing. Yep. I can still hear him peeing. That's really odd. Um, but, <laughs> oh God. My Lord. Uh, but in this long journey that we've had, uh, in this long journey, we've we ended up uh, scoring a partnership with Showcase Cinemas, which is one of the top theaters in the world, uh, the the country. And on Wednesday, what we're doing is we are we're doing another live show uh, at the theater, and we're doing this one for Kong and Godzilla, or Godzilla vs Kong. So we're gonna go to a four o'clock movie. Uh, you know, thank you to Showcase for for letting us go to that. Uh, we're going to see a four o'clock showing, uh, but starting at three, two thirty or two forty five, we're going to go live on here and on StreamYard at the same time. So the camera will be recording us recording this live podcast. So it's kind of like a two for one. If you want to watch us, you can watch us. If you want to listen to us, you can listen to us. Either or works for us. Uh, as long as you're there and as long as you're engaging, that's all we care about. Uh, but we're going to be doing a pre-show. Uh, we're going to be doing a pre-show beforehand and a post-show after, um, you know, we're, we're, so it's a pre-show and we'll talk about all of our, all, you know, ambitions and, and all of our, you know, Oh, what, what could happen? What, what might happen? You know, all that kind of good stuff. And then after we'll have a review show and we did this for wonder woman, but we only did it. Uh, uh, we did it on our podcast platforms and we did it on YouTube. This one's going to be a little different. We'll do a live show on Podbean, like we're doing right now. But we'll also have a camera fixated on us, and it will be recording us record this. I know it's like Inception recording, right? <laughs> so the camera, the camera is going to be live streaming to live streaming us to um, Streamyard, to all to YouTube and Facebook and and Periscope and all and Twitch, and then 
also our p p audio will be uploading from here on live as well and it will also be broadcasted all the way you know naturally to all of our podcast platforms so this this is kind of one fell swoop right uh this is one fell swoop and 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 uh and we're getting recorded on all of our platforms that we use and i am uh so to light bright by the way i i'm assuming that is what a super chat looks like and if that's what you did I appreciate that so so much, and we're going to be here regularly. So so uh, we would definitely, you know, I I love that you're a loyal listener, and uh, you know, I I I can't wait to see you again too. So uh, thank you so much for stopping in. Thank you so much for that super chat, and uh, you know that 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 is a super cost. I don't super know. cost, baby. I don't what does know what that, that mean? Means, but I don't know what that means. But anything with the word super in it is usually oh super chat. chat. <laughs> Okay, so that that is a super chat. Oh, thank you oh, so much, sweetie. <laughs> By the way, Justice, that. were you peeing? Yeah. Dude, okay. Oh, you guys heard that? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's hilarious. So I had to mute you for a second. Uh, your your boy was about to explode. I'm so sorry for that. That's my genuine apologies for you here. Yeah, that. yeah, I'm yeah. So sorry. <laughs> I, swear more, I swear I'm more professional than that. I swear yeah. I am. I am so sorry. Uh, you don't realize what Please your phone can back. actually pick up. <laughs> Please come back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's my hilarious. Word Jesus, my word to Jesus, I would leave over that word. I yeah. Would. Also, you're a little softer <laughs> now. <laughs> what do you mean? What does that mean? Like you're, you're. It sounds like you're in a, you're, you're in the distance. Oh, huh. That's weird. You're in headphones. You should hear me. Yeah. Speak. Maybe that's uh. Maybe that, that's, you're uh, back. Stay oh, there. I'm back. You're back. <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, that was hilarious. So <laughs> it's all right. It's definitely okay. Uh, a couple other things. A couple other things. Uh, so next Saturday, we will be uh, we'll be doing the podcast. Well, it's going to be a live stream, honestly. But we call it a podcast because eventually it will get converted. Uh, but we'll be doing a show with uh, Owen Gleiberman. Owen Gleiberman is the I know his name's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I, I was hoping you didn't realize why I was laughing. <laughs> yeah, his name is pretty funny. It, I I laughed. I was like, what? Sorry, what was that? Owen was Gleiberman like, again? <laughs> Which is one more time. <laughs> but like but that. he is the lie. I mean, so he is the chief film critic for Variety. So he's the number one. He's Big top deal. dog. Big deal. He's yeah, he's, he's top that, dog at variety for for reviewing movies. So we're gonna get to talk to somebody who, you know, those critics were always making like we're you know like fuck that guy, you know yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's it's the guy that we're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna get a look into like what it's like to review movies for a living, what it's like to be that guy that's a that that is, you know, like when the Rotten Tomato score gets to where it is, like he's right. has an influence, like he's one of the guys that reviews the movie and it gets to that yeah so yeah so yeah. and uh he you know he's been he's written for variety for a long time so that's justice i know you're gonna want to talk to him right that's gonna be about cool the writing right yeah right. and that that was uh like you said with uh sean that that was that's and that's the cool thing too right we uh incorporating guests um and now now again this you know this is a preference this is what we personally like um but at the same time, we didn't come into it with the idea of guests. That's something that happened as we started. So maybe you guys get into it too, because it is fun. You find a guest that's into the same kind of stuff you guys are into, or you are into, whoever, if you're alone, together, whatever the case may be. But you find guests that share your interests and you have a conversation with them, and that's always a fun thing. Yeah, I, I mean, it's the most fun. I mean, yeah, I love when we do the shows um, like this, like when it's just you and I, because you know, there, there's brings us back to the the beginning, right? And so it's right. and 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 if all else fails, we we have each other to to rely on uh, for the show and and for 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 we have each other, right? No matter what, right. no matter what, no matter when, no matter how, there'll always be a show, whether it's just you and I, or whether it's you and Jack, or whether it's me and Jack, or whether it's all three of us. There'll always be a show, Jack. but <laughs> what? Just Jack. Just Jack. <laughs> just, just Jack. That's the name of his show. Just Jack. That's perfect. That's not bad. That's not That's bad. That's good. Yeah, that's actually, just yeah, Jack, baby. Uh, <laughs> let's, go. let's go. I'm creating the logo tonight. Uh, just Jack. <laughs> I'm serious. That's a good name. <laughs> it's not. No, it's uh, not. I was being serious too. It's a good name. Um. So. So whether it's just just anyone, one of us. Um. 
Mm-hmm. But there'll always be a show, no matter what. But when we do have a guest, it, 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 it I don't know. There's like there's a new fire. There's a new like we get to talk to someone new and we get to talk to someone fresh and it's that's always fun too. I, right. I love both of it. Um, but uh, we got a couple more minutes. We do five more minutes uh, of of doing you know hanging out and uh, just do you have any any last minute because okay so basically why I'm ending it in five minutes is so we did like I said we did the US United thing today and um, at ten o'clock. Uh, the last show happens. The last show is going to have Ray Fisher on it. So I kind of want to tune into that. Mm. But uh, we had a great... <laughs> yeah, we, we, wanna, so I, <laughs> I got a bunch of messages um, on the side. I'm not going to say who they're from or what you know what, what they're for or who they're by, but they did say that uh, out of the whole day so far, we had the best show. Um, I don't know, you know, Let's so go. out of Let's the whole go. day, we had a lot of... We had a fi- some fire, fire... Sh- channels hey listen and an anonymous anonymous uh compliment is a compliment nevertheless yeah i'll take yeah. it so we had and this is coming from like 10 to 12 people saying that so let's go uh, That's what's up. you know that made me feel good and you know okay. i'm gonna be taking some time off to to do some family stuff and you know that's the good way to go and you know we got the show wednesday and then we got saturday and then i'll kind of be you know behind the scenes for a while and, right. uh, just for the time being, guys. He's not going anywhere. He'll he'll be back. Uh, you know, yeah. just for the time being. Life just for the time. Life does happen. And oh, that's another thing. You gotta be. You gotta be. Uh, it's good to have a co-host. It's good yeah. to have a team because right. life will happen. No, right. It's, it's, right. you know, I can guarantee it. I can and, you know, guarantee you know, it. And the the beautiful thing is right because this isn't the first time. It's yes, it's more. It's definitely more. Um, more uh extreme in this particular circumstance but life has happened only to you unfortunately and i'm sorry for that but it happened before with logan right and uh Mm -hmm. some things happened and and you had to take care of them but the people not only understood and and you know stood with us and with you but they also helped right and that's the beautiful thing you know so it it is better to have a team so it can everything can keep flowing but if, you know, if you are alone and something happens, the beautiful thing is that your community will understand, right? And mm-hmm. they, they won't hold it against you and they get it. And it's good to know, you know, that was a big thing in entertainment back in the day is that a lot of people couldn't separate entertainers from, you know, they couldn't understand that entertainers were actually human beings at the end of the day and still have problems and issues. And, you know, so much was expected from them because they were entertainers, right? Nowadays, right. that's not the case anymore. Yeah, for sure, for sure, and and you know, it means a lot to me. It does. It means a lot to me that um, we've built this network. Um, you know, so the the tenant that lives here said it to me the other day. It was like, I, I, I you know, I never really got to talk to you about this, but uh, you know, it's impressive what what you were able to do, what you guys were able to do for Logan. And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, I mean, you raised seven thousand dollars in three days. That's, but I mean, that's like. That's a lot, you know. What I mean, he's it like, is. you it know, a, that's it's relatable. It's a lot. That's a lot of money and, and really a relatively short amount of time. Uh, and he's like, Absolutely. you know, it went from you not knowing if that surgery was going to be feasible to, all right, let's bankroll this thing. And um, right. you know, that's right. due to a network that we've created. And you know, it, <laughs> God, it put me beautiful. beside myself. Seriously, it's just a. It really, it's just absolutely beautiful it, it you know this you know yeah that uh that dog means just as much to me as anybody else i love yeah. that dog so when yeah. it happened i was very upset myself and to see everybody come to his rescue like that beautiful genuinely genuinely warmed my heart and it was a beautiful mm-hmm. thing and that's what happens when you just you know uh and i don't like i don't i try to avoid using the word fan i like to think of supporter uh, things of that sort, you know, they're on our side. They care about us, mm-hmm. right? Are you, um, are you Oscar music playing me out right now? I am. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, right, guys, listen, I just want to thank God. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank, <laughs> you. thank you so much, guys. I, I love you. Peace and love. They're kicking me off the stage. I love you guys so much. We do, we do, we do it for the culture. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hell yeah, man. What he said. Uh, we'll be back next week. Guys, thank you so much. Y'all, not guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Tonight, uh, we usually do it a little bit earlier, but that's okay. We're doing it now. And uh, we do appreciate everyone who showed up. We gained $2 today uh, during, during Super Chats. And uh, we will be back. Tune in live this Wednesday when we uh, work with Showcase for Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, and then Saturday with Owen Gleiberman. Tune in on uh, YouTube or any other uh, platform, including Periscope and Facebook. Uh, we love you. We do it for you, and we do it for the culture. I was